Okay, here I am at the Hardware Gallery in Enmore, and here are Pauline and Lou Pilatus. Pilatus. Oh, Pilatus. I knew I'd, I knew I'd stuff that up. And they're celebrating, congratulations, 10 years of uh, running a gallery. That's it. Hardware Gallery came for 10 years today. Yeah, yeah. How's it, how, how do you feel? I'm oh, great. Really excited. You know? Yeah, everyone's uh, turned up to yeah. enjoy the show. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the artists have responded really well with their works in the exhibition. Yeah. yeah, it looks fantastic. Big crowd. Yes. Yep. Fabulous big, crowd. Big crowd and building. And building, yes, yes, yes. The night is but young. Yep. Yes, there's a, there's a full moon somewhere out there, and uh, here's some of the people. Yeah, so, uh, uh, okay, what about the plans for the future? Where do you want to see the gallery? Pauline, Mal, I might ask you. Pauline, where do you see the future? I think Lou would be the man to answer that question. I see the gallery in the future as um, being uh, as big and strong as it is now and uh, you know, embracing the artists that we've got on board uh, currently. Uh, previous, the, the idea for this show is to actually engage with the artists we've shown over the last 10 years, yeah, the yeah. artists that we're currently exhibiting and the artists that we're exhibiting into next year and beyond and it's about tying all that together into a sense of, uh, uh, it's really like it's a community now with the artists who we're showing. Okay, so it's like a, a, la it's like a milestone, it's like a taking yeah. stock but you know, yeah. yeah, it's a benchmark moment for us. That's yeah. right. Excellent, excellent. And um, I've, got, I've also got to say, while we're on film, yeah, yeah, to sure. uh, <laughs> make it official. Yeah, yeah. Is this a scoop, Lou? Are you going to say a scoop? Uh, it's not a scoop, but it's, uh, it needs to be said that the yeah. reason we've got to this benchmark moment is yeah. because of the support of my family and someone like Pauline. Yeah, excellent, um, excellent. Yeah, behind that. the scenes, working away. She's a very good organiser. I know we know that. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Well, congratulations. Here's the place. Here's the address. And. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's going to be a really good evening. I'm going to go. I'm going to go around and uh, just interview certain people, and uh, right. hopefully, this will be on YouTube tomorrow. Awesome! How good is that, eh? Yeah, okay, I'll have excellent. a hangover while I'm watching it. Okay, I'm here with uh, uh, Kurt Sorensen, who uh, is uh, the guy who's done this uh, brilliant nighttime photograph of a caravan. Uh, is that the moon? Oh, that's the moon, right? That's the moon, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't too sure. It's either the side of the moon, it's only 50-50. Yeah. It's a 50-50, I know, yeah. You got it, you got it. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm not really picking up this too much detail. This, it's a beautiful... Uh, there's, there's a little bit of a... Um, there's a, uh, some sort of power tower there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's your, uh, a little bit of a Balinese dwarf. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's it, but it's not time lapse like you sometimes do. Not really, no, this is pretty much. Uh, well, it's a small time lapse. A small time lapse of a caravan? Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's almost impossible to see, which is a real pity because it's a beautifully uh, rendered uh, dark scene with just a hint of light, you know, in the horizon. So, um, what draws you to the, to the early night? Or to the early morning. Or the early morning, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I've never, I've never been a sunny, never been a sunny kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you just feel freer to move around and look at things I at enjoy, night. Or? I enjoy it. No, I enjoy the feeling of, uh, um, you know, being out there in the dark. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The juice is flowing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's really like do you, when you go out at night time, do you plan like to spend six hours out at night time, or do you, do you just wander aimlessly? No, I wander or? aimlessly, pretty much. Unless, unless there's a specific uh, idea. Place, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, but, but you're often, if you travel somewhere, you often just go and, and then walk around and, and discover what's there. Yeah. Well, uh, Kurt, I wish uh, I wish I could get more detail of this ex exquisite photo. It's, out. it's very dark, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dark and moody, yeah. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, I'm with uh, Alex Wisser, who, uh, like me, goes to openings and drinks other people's uh, booze and... Is that what yeah, we do? Yeah, yeah. And I'd like to say, this show has really impressed me. <laughs> Free alcohol, yeah. as much as you can drink, and some incredible snacks. The snacks are amazing. Yeah, yeah. I saw you go heavy on the veggie puffs. Those veggie puffs were... Yeah. I, I'm going to get the rest of me. I can't yeah, but you, well, but then you'd never leave your your house, and you wouldn't you wouldn't come across. No, no, there's still contemporary alcohol. Uh, uh, alcohol will always bring me out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, well uh, any standout, any favourite pieces in the show? Or? Um, I, I like Curtis's work. I like that 
photograph there? Was he's very good. He's yeah. very. Um, I actually I talked to him, but I couldn't get the the full beauty of the picture in my camcorder. It's very dark. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. yeah. I really I like I like what he does. Basically, he seems to be using the um, the the noise of the film uh, to define tone. You know, in a, you know, and that's a, it's a very uh, yeah. difficult thing to I do. I think I can. I understand what you're saying because often it's time lapse, but even that wasn't very time lapsey. But there's a nice grainy fuzziness yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. What I'm no, yeah, and in fact, I think the time lapse effects would probably have ruined it because it's sort of the coarseness of the grain, the contrast with the the, the uh, gradation of tone. But what about the whole thing about a lonely caravan at night? You know, on an emotional level. Did that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I was looking at it on a more formal. T yeah. Really, I really was. I mean, it, yeah. as far as as narrative went, I I, I I I wasn't picking up anything sort of. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I who's in the caravan? Is it empty? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I really didn't. I didn't actually think about it in that terms. I, you know, and you can do that. You know, you can look at a photograph oh, well, simply for, for yeah. its formal qualities, or you you, yeah. you look at subject or or, yeah. or, or, or narrative or yeah. any of those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, that's. I think I think we've never talked about art so much uh, in our <laughs> brief uh, relationship. But uh, yeah, he's an amazing photographer. I've told him that on many occasions. Yeah. Uh, okay, here I'm at here with Chris Retallick. Yeah. A sculptor here at uh, the uh, Hardware Gallery. Hi, Chris. Hello. I'm doing a bit of eye surgery here. <laughs> I'm going to give him the googly eye. Yeah, yeah. There he is, googly eye, oh, wow. googly eye. Nice. Oh, I love him. this. Will he go in the back? Will he go oh, in the this. back? Will he go so this is what a sculptor does. He's never finished with a work. Sculpture, it's, a, it's an ongoing lifetime commitment. Yeah, I could get a bit of googly eye there. there was, I saw a little bit of it. Oh, it's gone out. Hang on. Oh. I jammed it in there too tight. I think I broke it. Did you, did you make this all from reverse garbage stuff? This is all made from reverse garbage. Oh, wow. He's got the googly eye happening. Yeah, this is a wonderful... Uh, <laughs> man, I mean, George Lucas, I mean, look. Well, well, are you paying George Lucas or is he paying you? No. A thousand degrees. Yeah. You know, walking, walking. Louise, Louise, look, yes. what do you think of this uh, robot? I think it's an exquisite work of high tech. Yes, yes. It's, it's the low tech way to do high tech. How about that? Yeah, yes. <laughs> this is low fire hygiene. Plastic yeah. is the new tin and aluminium. Plastic is the new tin and aluminium. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yes. Good. Okay. Well, thanks, well, guys. Well, actually, when thanks, you have guys. a look at it, there's a bit of something right there that's oh, metallic. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.